Mega Aggron. A brand new thing was introduced in Pokemon X and Y called Mega Evolutions, and Aggron happened to receive one, aside from the Kanto starters and etc. So, Mega Aggron, pretty good. I think it's a pretty good Mega Evolution. Although, some people might not agree, since there are other options such as Mega Medicham, Mega Kangaskhan, Mega Blaziken, Mega Blastoise, Mega Charizard X, Mega Charizard Y, Mega Mewtwo, of course. And you can see that it's a little concentrated around all the OP sets you can find. But, I think that with a little research and, of course, a little experimentation, Mega Aggron can be just as good as the other Mega, Mega Evolutions. Because, well, it's a Mega Pokemon. Now... It's EVs I put into 252 attack, 4 defense, and 252 speed. Mostly because this is a sweeping set based on maxed attack, of course, because it can't get. I don't think it can get any um, other. Well, it can get curse, but uh, you'll see later. You'll find out. You'll see. You'll see. Um, its nature has to be adamant because Megagron doesn't have that many good. doesn't have that much of a good special attack, so obviously you're going to need as much power as you can get. And in order to get a Mega Aggron, you have to give your Aggron Aggronite, which you'll then activate during the battle, and then you'll have yourself a Mega Aggron. And when it Mega Evolves, it gets the ability Filter, which I think lessens the damage from super effective attacks. Which is good. Now for the moves. Automize or Rock Polish. Now, you may be wondering, yes, that's why all the EVs went into speed, so you can double in speed and you can outspeed people. Automize will lighten it, and so it'll take less damage from Low Kick and Grass Knot. And Rock Polish is just, you know, basically agility. Now, this is where it'll come into play. Iron Head and Heavy Slam. If you use Automize, I, I would suggest you use Iron Head, because if you use Automize and Heavy Slam, you'll lessen your weight, and then um, Heavy Slam will be doing way, way less damage than it should. And, I mean, you can keep Rock Polish and use Iron Head, but... Basically, the final point is Automize for Iron Head and Rock Polish for Heavy Slam. Final line. Now, the third one <laughs> has a lot of options. You have plenty of options to choose from here. Personally, I would prefer Ice Punch since there's a lot of Dragon types, Flying types, etc. that needs to be downed in battle. Uh, head Smash just to get rid of Flying types, but you'll take Recoil damage, so it's a risk reward type scenario there. Stone Edge, it has a certain amount to miss, but high crit chance, but, you know, another risk and reward move right there. Fire Punch is against for against Grass Types and etc. Maybe I, even um, Ice Types, but you're already a Steel Type, so I don't know why. And Ice Punch, of course, for Dragon Types, and, you know, all the rest. Pretty much, it's, it's, it's all versatile options. You guys can pick whatever you guys want. And finally, just Earthquake. Just Earthquake, just against another Steel-type. Trust me, it is very awkward when you have two Steel-types looking at each other and they don't know how to destroy each other. Uh, I would say that Mega Aggron does have a chance against uh, Metagross, but I wouldn't count on it, because it's Metagross. Anyway, now for some battles. Alright, so here I send out my Aggron, and of course, right off the bat, you Mega Evolve, and the Daydenny goes away. But that's fine because I already have my rock polish up. Pretty much that's what you want to do. Just get it out of the way. So, and you see, it's probably a Guts Boost Durst Ring. That one Heavy Slam did about half. And that is a threat. That is literally a two-hit KO from a lot of Pokemon who are underweighted against an ag a Mega Aggron. It is very good. And then here... It literally lives on Focus. The Crobat literally lives on Focus Sash. Now, if I had Stealth Rocks, it probably would have perished. Probably. Most definitely. It would. Yeah, it would have died. But that was unfortunate for me. But that's just a small demonstration of what Mega Aggron can bring to the party. Next battle, you have... I'm against a Mega Absol, which is one of the better Mega Evolutions, not gonna lie. And he's a superpower, and because I Mega Evolved, and because of the defense, it does... It lives, of course. It wasn't going to die. So then I use Automize. So, since I'm Lightened, Low Kick will be doing less, and Grass Knot will be doing less. Low Kick is definitely a giant threat. So, I predicted the switch, because why would you stay on after the first superpower? And then I go for another Automize, and I one-shot a Nido King. Not really surprising. It's max attack, pretty much. And then the Absol comes back in. And then I'm like, okay... 
He's gonna go. Nope, he didn't go for Sucker Punch. Just Iron Head one shot it. Definitely did all that damage. And then the Uxi or Uxi, whichever, however you pronounce it. Iron Head. Now the reason I have Iron Head, flinching. Flinching works. It's very helpful. There's a small percent chance, but of course every flinch helps in battle. Flinch hacks. And I kill the Uxi. That's basically Agron. Just, Mega Agron just three pieced a team. Now, not to be bragging or whatever, but I'm, I'm considering it a threat. And then he sends out his Darmana 10, and then he one-shots me with Flare Blitz. Pretty much that's its only thing. It can get one-shotted with any almost any fire move, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, etc. It's viable, but it's not as overpowered as you think. But then again, all Mega Pokemon can be defeated in some way, shape, or form. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and hope, hopefully you guys will experiment a little bit with Mega Aggron. Uh, you can suggest another Mega Pokemon for me in the comments below, or you can just tell me uh, another Pokemon set I can pull off for um, CPM. I'm Oblivion Guy, and I'll catch you guys later.